When the diagnosis is made, we typically start the patient on medication. Medication belongs to the group of anticonvulsants. So basically these are medicines which reduce the electrical activity within the nerve and in fact the entire brain. They reduce the amount of pain that the patient experiences. So these are actually pain modulators. They are not painkillers in the traditional sense of the word. They help in controlling the pain but not curing trigeminal neuralgia. This is a very important differentiation that patients must understand. So these patients need to keep coming back to us at regular frequency to get their doses adjusted. Sometimes we increase the dose from two times a day to three times a day or even four times a day. Sometimes we add a third group or a fourth group. Now having four different types of medications being taken three, four times a day is very exhausting for the patient. One of the problems with uh, the medication is that patients tend to forget. The forgetfulness increases. There is lack of enthusiasm to doing many things that they want to do, which is one of the side effects or consequences of this medication. And depending on the profession that the person practices, we might need to change the doses or use certain groups of drugs which may be more applicable to them. At our center, when we start patient on multiple types of medication, we monitor them for blood tests as well as look at their side effects. And based on this profile, we decide whether we need to change, we need to continue, we need to increase or decrease. So this titration is done based on how the patient's response is. So you must remember that if you are on medication for trigeminal neuralgia, you need to visit your doctor frequently and you need to be monitored through blood tests for certain parameters which you need to know that they are quite all right. So don't expect that if you take medication, you are done once and for all and everything's going to get better.